Hi friends, my name is Ryan. I'm an alcoholic drug addict. Today is December 1st. Welcome. I'm going to be reading the thought for the day from our 24-hour day book. Alright, here we go. The thoughts that come before having a slip are often largely subconscious. It is a question whether or not our subconscious minds ever become entirely free from alcoholic thoughts as long as we live. For instance, some of us dream about being drunk when we are asleep. Even after several years of sobriety in AA, during the period of our drinking days, our subconscious minds have, have been thoroughly conditioned by our alcoholic way of thinking and it is doubtful if they ever become entirely free such thoughts during our lifetime. But when our, sub, when our conscious minds are fully conditioned against drinking, we can stay sober and our subconscious minds do not often bother us. Am I still conditioning, conditioning my conscious mind? Whoa! Did we catch all that? Um, this goes off of yesterday's, the subconscious and conscious mind. The subconscious mind, yes, when we're sleeping, we can have subconscious thoughts about using and drinking. Yes, and I've had those. I've mentioned in a previous, uh, one alcoholic to another video I have woken up and thinking I'm still drunk and wondering where I was yes I've had those um, there would be a subconscious thought and a conscious thought well we know what that would be and it says here we can have them for silver years and so yeah, but when we get these thoughts, like I had said in yesterday's, we need to, that would be our stinking thinking, we need to call our sponsor or call somebody in the program. So we know that. Um, am I still conditioning my conscious mind? Yes. Yes, we're conditioning our conscious mind. Yeah, it's our conscious mind and our subconscious. Yeah, it's uh, it's pretty uh, pretty interesting. We're not sure whether or not we ever become entirely free from our alcoholic thoughts as long as we live. For instance, some of us dream about being drunk when we are asleep, even after several years of sobriety and AA. Well, yeah, we're doubtful I mean, yeah, this is, again, it's cunning, baffling, powerful. I mean, this is not a disease to mess around with, folks. So, the thoughts come before having a slip are often largely subconscious. So, so we know better, you know. But if we are having those thinking, you know, when people usually go out, they usually have it pre-planned in their head. They have it planned out, and they, and they usually don't call people in AA, and they usually don't call their sponsors, and they go out drinking. They have it already planned in their head long before they go out. They already have it pre-planned. 
those people it's not even in their subconscious mind or whatever they've already got it pre-planned a lot of people that do go out and do mess up those, those aren't slips those are people that just uh, just had another drunk in them I guess so but anyhow guys um, thanks thanks for for watching Thanks. Keep coming back. Keeping it sober. Keeping it simple. And thanks. For, thanks for everything, guys. This is working awesome. One alcoholic to number number forty-three, guys. We're doing good. Things are going good. So, thanks for subscribing. Thanks for liking the video. We'll see you next time.